Okay, today we're going to talk about thermoforming canopies and clear domes using 3D printed master parts or a slug in the slug ring, if you will. And in this case, printed in PLA. Also, for the clear plastic parts on the domes, I'm just using scrap plastic like you would find on a blister pack. Like if you bought a, a huge box of batteries at Costco, there's going to be plastic around that, or uh, maybe you've bought a big arrangement of uh, scissors or screwdrivers or wrenches and they got a clear plastic top on it sometimes the whole backside will be completely flat and give you a nice big chunk of clear plastic it's normally PET which is very good for this type of project so if you're not familiar with this little biped uh, walking machine project it's uh, based on some pulp artwork that I found online but the pulp artwork was based on a 1960s design by General Electric for a walking machine that the military gave them here I got a picture up here the military gave them millions of dollars to uh, try and build one there's a guy at GE Labs sitting in his box on top of those tall legs and um, that's what they could do for millions of dollars and I thought it would be cool to turn it into an actual walking toy. I'll put links down below if you want to see the build videos for these or uh, the other demo videos but basically it's uh, a clawfoot walker and it uh, walks and you can build it. But I wanted to get domes on them. As you can see they turned out very nice, very clear and Here's how we did it. I'm going to get these two guys out of the way so I don't knock them over. I have here one that I haven't trimmed and then everything will become more clear as we move along. But basically what we're looking at is a simple wood frame that I used some dollar store clips to hold a piece of scrap clear plastic to. I stuck it in the toaster oven. This whole piece was set up on uh, four wood blocks you know, spaced out to keep it up above the, the rack in the toaster oven. And I had the toaster oven in this case set at about 250 degrees. And it takes about four or five minutes until the plastic is nice and pliable. Then I would grab the whole thing. In this case, the plastic would have been on here. Put on my uh, of gloves. Don't want to burn my hands. You got to have the of glove. Put those puppies on. Grab the plastic rushed over. I know this has plastic around it, but pretend like it didn't. This slug is the 3D printed master shape. I would set this right on top there, then I would grab this ring real quick and shove the ring down over the whole thing and just hold it for a few seconds and it's set up and it's done. So, then you can pull the ring off. The ring has a very uh, rounded top the bottom is just slightly rounded and that's so that the sides won't rub on the plastic and leave any marks and the slight rounding uh, on the bottom is so that the plastic can curl in without being torn or, or broken okay so to get the part out of here you just, uh, just apply a little bit of pressure in this case the slug I wanted it a little bit taller so I'd have more plastic to trim off so I put a piece of wood on the bottom. You won't need to do that. The files that I put on Thingiverse, I already added an extra three millimeters to the height of this. So you shouldn't have to deal with that little chunk of wood. But you can see how, uh, how these will nest together to uh, force the plastic into place. Now you can do it with other dome shapes too. It doesn't really matter. So once you've got your, your part, then it comes down to trimming off all the excess and I just start to uh, roughly just get as much of this out of the way as possible. See this uh, PET is the same type of plastic they use for water bottles and soda pop bottles and it uh, doesn't crack and break it's flexible you can glue it obviously you can thermal form it Okay, so I got the largest chunk of crap out of the way. And now we want to trim off the last little bit of this flange. And this is where I added that extra height that we just talked about. Because then I can come in along the bottom and I can come up a reasonable amount to get above any 
bugaboos, anything that might have happened near the bottom when it was pulling through. And we're going to set it on the wood after I get done with this and see if I got it somewhat equal all the way around. So basically I'll set it on here and I just look at it. And I can see that I'm generally close, but not quite there yet. This side is really good, but unfortunately that's the side I would have to trim if I want to get this side to uh, come down lower. So you just play with it. And you know what, if you mess it up, what have you lost? A piece of scrap plastic that you would have thrown in the garbage normally anyway. Or if you're conscientious, recycled. I'm going to take some more off these other sides and see if it'll make it sit a little flatter. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. So I've got one of the walkers here. As you can see, it doesn't have a dome, but I designed it with a lip all the way around. And we should be able to take this shape and fit it in there. I guess it's down. I'm not 100% sure that I'm completely happy with the cut. I may come back and cut it some more. I've got plenty of height. As you can see, I could uh, trim and bring that in. But once I know I am completely happy with it, I'm going to take some uh, of the old E6000. Originally, this stuff was sold as Goop, but now there's so many other companies called Goop that they had to change their name to E6000. Nice thing about E6000, it's good for joining different types of some materials. In this case, this to the PLA. I'll take it off and I'll put just a little bit on the top edge here and a little bit on the bottom edge. Put it in place. Once it's set up, that'll be the end of that. But uh, very nice, very clear dome. Complex shape. Fits perfectly. Cost you next to nothing. The only thing you got to throw together quickly some sort of little wood frame to uh, clip the plastic to so that you can grab it. If it was just sitting there loose you'd have a hard time. If you laid it on a cookie sheet it's going to crinkle up. You need it on some sort of frame so you can grab it with one hand, hover it over the form, jam down the top ring. Makes it a lot easier.